It ain't no competition. You can be another pastor, you can be another leader, or another co-worker, whatever. But if you got the potential, I want you to succeed. Go and get up the ladder. Go and get up there. I ain't trying to hold you back. I ain't no crab. I ain't got no crab mindset. But he said, be their fathers of God as dear children. And walk in love as Christ also have loved us. And have given himself for us and offering a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling Savior. But fornication and all uncleanness and confessionness, let it not be once named among you as becoming saints. Neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor gesture, which are not convenient, but rather giving of thanks. For we know that no homemonger, no unclean person, no confession is man who is an idolatry and have an inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. See, this right here, this, this right here what I love about the truth of God. Because, see, we can sit in here and play church. We can go on with our life and we can think that God and plead with our life and we think that we're going to make it in. We think because we got saved and we were 12 years old, we always saved. We think because I go to church and I pay my tithes, that you know what, I got a place in heaven. But if I surround myself, and I have, just what this word said, if I surround myself around Father Cain or Douglas, I'm doing them things, I can't think that I got a place in the kingdom. Let the truth be told. I can't think that I got a place in the kingdom. Because God don't deal with no mess. But we have the idea, we think that, you know what, God loves everybody. He do love everybody. But he hate our sin. He hate our sin. I don't see nowhere where God ever compromised with us, with our own desires and our own lust. I don't ever see, I don't see, I ain't seen somebody else out there watching them through Facebook and YouTube and you just seen it show me. But I don't know what, nowhere where God has compromised. See, the thing about it with the word is that we ain't trying here never to beat down nobody or think that we better than anybody. But I believe that as we are here on this earth and God has placed people in our presence, it's our job to tell the truth because we don't want no blood on our hands. I, I don't want to be that person. I see a truck coming and you walking in the street and I ain't going to see nothing. I'm going to say, wait, hey, don't you see that truck? Or you see somebody, a child, just there about to run in the road and you don't say nothing. What kind of person you is? You going to let that little two-year-old baby get ran over? Or you gonna say something? Hey, y'all better grab that baby. Somebody grab that child. That's the same thing that the mandate that God has given us. That's why we keep on preaching on sin. Because to tell you, before I really understand and realize who God was in my life, I was on my way to hell, thinking that I was all right. Huh? That's why I preach like I preach. Because see, I sit in the church week after week, and I walk out of church and. and, and and it, 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 it went on back and did my thing. Went on back trying to get my money. Went on back trying to get with this next woman. Thinking I'm alright. Oh, I'm going to heaven. You know why? Because I went to church today. You know why? Because I gave the preacher my hand. I came to shake the preacher and shake the hand. And he gave me the right hand of fellowship. And he said that God has welcomed me into his fellowship. He had welcomed me in the kingdom, and I think I'm all right. But one thing I have come to find out, that we would never know it's wrong if nobody never, never put the thing on. Come on now. You will never know it's wrong if nobody don't tell you to make you feel uncomfortable. See, that's what the Holy Ghost for. That's why we need to invite the Holy Ghost in, because the Holy Ghost won't make us uncomfortable. The Holy Ghost won't make me uncomfortable when I'm looking at that woman and saying, Ooh, boy, ooh, boy, you yeah. The Holy Ghost going to make me uncomfortable. He's going to convict me. Say, no, babe, you can't do that. You can't live like that. You think God pleased with that lifestyle? Even when I want to go out there, you know what? Ooh, that lottery, 359 million. Now, what could I do? <laughs> I know that what God want me to have. I know God want to bless me with that money. You know what? God, I dream, and God gave me these numbers. I'm going to play these numbers. And if I hear, I know it from God. But see, we look at our Bible, we say, the devil blessed him. The Bible says he come as an angel light. He come looking like God. But without the spirit of discernment and to know who God is, because the word says, Jesus said, my sheep, they hear me and they know my voice. They follow me. 